Hey everyone, welcome back to Elden Ring. I just recorded an Elden Ring Explorations episode and man did it feel like I just ran a marathon with this game. Uh, again, I was being stubborn and fighting bosses I was most likely under leveled for and I was having a tough time and I barely got any runes out of it. Okay, here's the deal. Uh, I'm exploring like this half of the map. Listen, that like bottom sort of path led to an area way outside of my level zone. Holy... Is that a gigantic dragon? Whoa... No, 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 you're cool. You're cool, I respect you. Uh, I don't know what the status ailment is. But I'm sure as shit getting the hell out of here. Did you see that? That was a little bit insane. I can't, okay. What is that status ailment or debuff? I'm assuming these dragons are all as strong as... No, they have less HP. Okay, I am ignoring this dragon like... Oh, can I? Can I Shadow of the Colossus it? No, you can't. Such a shame. How cool would that be? Just run up and stab it. Yeah, so... Hmm. I was gonna say maybe this... Oh, there is something here. This is sort of like my last... Well, no, no, we have another hope. That area with the giant pot, this place. I think that might also be a potential location for this medallion. But we'll find out in just a sec. That dragon was really cool. You guys remember that gigantic, like, mountain-sized dragon in Dark Souls 3? This is it! That's for... This is it, right? Uh, da, 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 da. that's the wrong one. Fort Pharaoh. This is it. Cool. So you guys remember how there was that giant like stone dragon in Dark Souls Three? That was like really cool. Well, this is almost like that. Oh yeah, somebody said, which is actually very smart, that I should put this little lamp here. I haven't been using it in a little bit in a hot minute but it's worth having so that I can do this bats of course there's bats sonic booming me okay this is the bat area you know what do I have a solution for you guys Have you ever seen a poison bat? Me neither. I guess it's rabies. Do you have a lot of HP or what? So I discovered uh, in the catacombs, well one of the catacombs you're gonna be seeing in Elden Ring Explorations, you probably already saw. Thanks camera. The poison in this game is absolutely a pushover. The real shit is this Scarlet Rot thing. I first got afflicted by Scarlet Rot in that dungeon. And that thing is way worse. That is actually a danger. Uh, you don't want to fuck with Scarlet Rot. Oh, you can actually probably just do this. And deal a lot of damage, yeah. So yeah, Scarlet Rot is where it's at for this game. And I'm assuming there's way more things. No, don't. Okay. I was on the spirit ashes. And I just have an assumption, knowing FromSoft, that Scarlet Rot is way more common than Poison. Where's the one that... Yeah, that's the one that has low HP. Well, they're certainly not making this area easy. Can I just hit you, please? Uh, 
Ah, uh, they have a grab. It's wonderful that these enemies respawn as well. Uh, I thought these ones with a lot of HP. They would be one-time enemies, but they're not. It's okay. I, again, I have a shit ton of these poison mosses or equivalent. Just need to be a little bit smarter with how I aggro these enemies. Because I feel like I got all the big boys on me. It really seems like if these things want you poisoned, you're going to be poisoned. I'm not even sure it's worth wasting my cures. Yeah, the thing is, I, I, I can't do this area either. Like, every single fucking thing one or two shots me. It's absolutely ridiculous and I'm kind of getting sick of it. Like, I don't know, did I, did I fuck up my build? Are you just, like, meant to put 40 points into Vigor and that's it? Because, I don't know, like, clearly this is where you're meant to go, according to the game. And, yeah, again, every single enemy is almost, like, one or two shotting me. Thank you. Okay. That was, that was terrible. <laughs> it's not what I meant to do. Obviously. This is what I meant to do. So yeah, I don't know, man. Like, it just all kind of feels weird. Um, like, look, look at this. This is just like some random knight enemy. And this is how much damage I'm dealing to him. And he took half my HP, so... I don't know, either I did something really wrong and you're just meant to like mega farm in this game and just, I don't know, grind? I don't know, man. Because believe me, while I do appreciate a challenge, uh, getting randomly grabbed by a bat and immediately one shot uh, or losing this much life to a single knight enemy is, I don't know. It's not really my idea of a fun challenge. And everything was fine up to now. Like, I don't know what the hell is, like what the hell changed in like the last, like since I got to this Kaled area, it really sort of changed dramatically. And I don't know, again, I don't know if I'm not just like... Maybe I skipped something, like... You're meant to level up before coming here first or something? I don't know, man. But yeah, it's all just a bit weird. I don't know. Not that I'm losing sleep over it, I mean, it's just a couple of deaths is just, you know, more editing for your boy right here, but nothing else other than that. It's just, I don't know, because no other Souls game has ever really, or FromSoft game has ever really done this. Not specifically Souls game, Soulsborns. None of them ever really that I can remember, even Dark Souls 1 if you were playing a level 1 build really had this many enemies sort of one or two shotting you. Okay, but... Is that gonna... That's gonna kill me. That is all besides the point, because we got the medallion or whatever that we were actually coming here for, so... Yeah, I think we can go back to this place. And let's see what happens. This has got to work at this point, right? I'm pretty sure I have the thing I need. Just we got to figure out. I figured it out. Are those tree sentinels? They have that shield, don't they? Cool. Imagine if they wake up and turn out to be dual bosses. Just 
So are we going? We're going up, aren't we? Definitely going up. Yeah. So what are we going to have? I'm assuming new zone. Whoa. Chernobyl with the yellow skies. Yellowish. Okay, what do we have here? This is really cool. Oh no, no, no. Did I just go back down? I just went back down, didn't I? <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> why, why did I press it? It's my stupid brain. I see a prompt and I press it. Thank fuck you can skip these cutscenes. If this was PlayStation 1 or something, you would have to watch this shit every single time. So, attempt number two. Immediately got two enemies. Altus Plateau. Now see, this is more like it. These guys ain't one-shotting me. So really, okay. So really, I was like not meant to fight in Kaelid yet. Because I mean, just look at... Just look at this. Whoa, that's cool. Tactical rock throw. I respect it. Yeah, we gotta be the ankle destroyers here. I was gonna say, when am I gonna get hit by the other one? Ah, shit. It's all good. No, actually, it's not all good, because I haven't hit up a fucking bonfire yet, have I? Yeah, this is not all good. Actually, we need to get the hell out of here and find... Because I don't want to go through this shit again, as in the lift. If I die. What am I doing? Stupid. Alright, just need a side of grace. I'll, I'll be back for you guys, don't worry. There it is, that's all I wanted. Thank fuck that didn't one-shot me. Am I happy about that? I'm back for you. Oh man, you guys are not very smart, are you? <laughs> That's so much damage. Your buddy just got killed and you, you're just like, not even caring. Not even minimally. But yeah, definitely, like, look at the the difference in damage between this guy and this is like a huge towering enemy versus anything in Kaelid that I encountered. But this has to be it, like, this game really takes levels seriously. Like, if you're underleveled for an area, you just get absolutely shit destroyed. Which I guess, again, is just the... The thing is, it's just different to other Souls games. Because in other Souls games, like, what level you were never actually really mattered. Unless you wanted stats for a specific weapon or spell. Uh, yeah, it didn't matter at all what level you were. I guess in this game, it does matter. Oh, hey, I got the Great Bow, which I'm never gonna use. So we're basically like up on top of this mountain. It's really cool. That's the capital where we actually already have. Yeah, okay, this is not this is not actually as big as I thought it would be. 
this area but we could pick up a map and it could turn out to be some like huge elaborate thing I do like the change in scenery I gotta comment on a comment on that you know what I'm looking for I'm looking for the the map marker or map location or whatever So it's still these guys. Yeah, like ugh, the difference between this place and Kaelid. Just unbelievable. Just doesn't even compare. This actually feels like a normal area that I'm meant to progress in. There it is. And actually, is that the thing that gives you a golden seed? Because if it is, I think think I think I think I might be I might have enough to level up let me just check yeah I do cool 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 okay next side of grace coming up for sure gonna do that let's get it oh you just get the whole map Altus Plateau, and there's shit up here. Okay, let's check it out. So this leads to... Okay, so this area has to be the capital, because we already have this unlocked over there. Finger Reader, Erd Tree... I'm seeing the points of interest here. Excellent. Excellent. I actually, actually, I was just thinking of. Like, I'm tempted to check back into the capital. Because it's one of these, like, towering like, what, golem enemies, and they're not that strong. Unless he's ju just like some like super OD version that's gonna wreck me in one hit. And if it is, I can always just teleport out. You know what we haven't seen in a long time? An NPC out in the field. I don't even remember the last time. Like, genuinely. And I'm sure they exist. So just most likely I'm missing all of them. I don't exactly know where I'm going, as in, I don't really have a plan. I mean, going to the capital seems logical, but there's some bong smoke coming up there. Just along, I thought it was a merchant for a second. But I guess not. We'll talk to her in just a bit, don't worry. We're not gonna... We're not gonna leave it at that. If some like... There was like windmills in the distance as well. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Flask at charge. And then increase. Cool. Let's see what she has to say, even though... Oh, there you are! What you got? Got stone sword keys. Apostles cog... 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 <laughs> cog book. Whoops. Unseen assassins. A note sold by nomadic... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, please tell me there isn't going to be like, there isn't going to be like invisible enemies here or some shit. The stone sword key would be useful, but... I don't know. Okay, what do you have to say?
Look at that place over there. Assuming Ruins of Gold is the capital. The path leads, so shall you follow. Wherever the path leads, only more sorrow. It is a curse. I was gonna say. I was gonna comment, but. Okay. So I was going to say, I assume by curse she means uh, my rage. Probably both of these locations are pretty advanced. But, you know, let's just, we're just going with the flow here. Let's check this place out. Wherever this teleporter leads, we're going with it. Just put us on the other side here. What do we got? We're here at the windmills. What the hell? <laughs> what the hell is this? Okay, I was just about to say. I bet if you attack one, they're all gonna turn. Uh, I still did it. These are some... What the hell is wrong with them? Bloodborne. They're crazy villagers from Bloodborne. Don't explode on me, thank you. Sorry, Torrent, you got the brunt end there. Is this gonna be some, like, crazy-ass... Ooh, what we got? Twin night swords and some cool. Well, the helmet looked cool. I was gonna say, are we gonna have some like crazy bloodborne midsummer village right here? It's kind of looking like that. I gotta check it out. Now see, that's pretty cool. Let me just check the... Where is it, where is it? I picked up the full... This, it's this, right? Yeah. See, now that doesn't look that good. Nah, the color doesn't match. This kind of does. Mm, I'm going back. Hornwood by dancers at the festivities in Dominula, the village of windmills. Use of this hood dyed in a stunning blue is only permitted for the young maids who play the central role in the festival. Hmm. There is some bullshit going on here. Some fuckery. Uh to put it probably lightly I mean this is where we have more windmills so we might as well yeah, there's a bunch of them over there you know what I'm committed let's check this place out if we have crazy ass villagers to get rid of we're gonna get rid of some crazy ass villagers. I don't. I don't mind going bloodborne on them, believe me. Prey slaughtered. That's what it's gonna be. It don't seem that difficult. Yeah. Sucks for you. See, if I'd played this game before Bloodborne, you would be in a much better position, probably. Because I'd be like, how do you deal with them? Crazy villagers? I never seen shit like that. 
Now it's just like... You know what M. Bison said, it's just a Tuesday. They have shit defenses too. Yeah, probably the dagger is way better here because they have like zero poise, so... I think we got a weapon combo. And you know, I do have a strong, strong suspicion that we're gonna have some like fucked up boss here. Dominula Windmill Village. Well, let's find out again. I'm committed here. We got quite a bit of souls. <laughs> oh, I wish you could get that as a gesture. Wouldn't that be cool? They're they're all gonna turn on you. I probably listen after I pick this treasure up. They're gonna all turn. No! Okay, well. I stand corrected. <laughs> I mean, I do, again, I do really appreciate them bringing all the vibes. That was bound to happen, right? All the vibes. Of course, it would be the dog that set them off. And by all the vibes, I mean Bloodborne, Dark Souls 1, 2, Sekiro. Yeah, okay. You know what's gonna... Yeah, this is... You are so screwed. Glintstone Arc. Too strong. It looks like they have some like dope bleed magic or something. Although, you remember how it was in Dark Souls 3, bleed ended up being a faith based thing. Man, they're easy to bleed. It's really good for me. I love their laugh, it's... <laughs> Listen. Interesting, okay. I'm curious. That one seems to be almost like praying over that... corpse there. Let's go ruin her day. This is, this is straight up midsummer. Holy proof dried liver. This is a uh, crafting material. Oh fuck, you can get So can I just like ride on through this whole village? Yeah, basically. Yeah, I'm wrecking all your shit now. Very, very convenient. Listen. I got beef with mad villagers. Uh, so, you know. Sorry. Hmm. I like have no earthly idea what this all could possibly lead to. You know, sometimes it just doesn't lead anywhere. Uh What? What? Okay. Godskin apostle. Oh, they they do have a cult leader. It's the final boss of Bayonetta. Oh, you're super... You can be super bled. I can already tell. You're a bleeder.
It's pyromancies, which pyromancies don't exist in this game. But you know what I mean. What the Darth Maul. This is this is actually the final boss of Bayonetta. I have quite a lot of souls there too. So let's not let's try not to lose it. Can you go in on horseback against this guy? But well, that that never works out though, so that's the thing. Oh, it conveniently. Cool. Well then. Oh yeah, I forgot. Whatever, I got my spell off. But I was gonna say, I completely forgot this guy is ranged. He's a fast type. Fast type Pokemon, for sure. I feel like wolves are the way to go here. Uh, this seems like a wolf guy, you know. Interesting. Oh man, the wolves are stupid too. He does a lot of damage. And he has a lot of HP too, I just noticed. Like, I was dealing a lot to him and he... Well, I mean, I was hitting him a lot of times and he just... Didn't do jack shit. What did that NPC say that I'm only gonna p find pain and misery? Well, it sure kind of does feel like it, doesn't it? Okay, keep him busy. I'm just gonna pick this up. Whoa, okay. He really, he wrecks the wolves. Like, holy shit. Oh! I don't even know how that worked, that didn't deal any damage. There go my wolves. Whoa. Second phase. What the fuck is he? Is that Mr. Fantastic? Elastic man. That is so goofy. <laughs> What? You can horse it up. Oh man, he's pretty cool. He just does a lot of damage. Okay, I need to pop this flask. Whatever, I got the stamina boost. <laughs> that is such a goofy attack, I love it. I mean, he's kind of creepy. He's just... Okay, don't screw up now. Using all of the fancy moves here. What is he doing? Yeah, big explosion. Oh yeah, and this is an open world boss battle, so... Gotta be careful not to do some stupid shit like fall off a cliff or something. I 
I'm gonna do it. I'm not risking it. So you got Dalsim limbs. How are you not dead? Yeah, Glintstone pebbled. Eh, these, that, that, one, that was not the worst. 14k souls though, finally. Finally enemies are giving like decent soul rewards. That was okay. Shout out to the wolves once again. Man, does it really feel like... I kind of just want HP. Uh, and what else? What else? What else? We got the weapon. I'm assuming the weapon doesn't let you... Like, extend your limbs. That would be just too cool. It's just a spear. A twin blade. Unique twin blade wielded by Gostin. Godskin apostles characterized by its disturbing design. One end features a sickle for slicing attacks, while the other boasts a wide, winding pike for boring into flesh. Okay. And it's got the tornado attack for the skill. Is that, is that this? Is This is it? I mean, I guess we took down, I don't know, a cult leader. We served the world for today. We did good. We did good. It I, I feels like we did good. I mean, that guy couldn't have been friendly, right? No way. Okay, here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna go ahead and start wrapping up this episode of Elden Ring. There's still quite a lot to explore here, and it looks like it loops back there, uh, which is exactly what we're gonna do next time. If you did enjoy this episode of Elden Ring, make sure to give this video a like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and I will catch you next time. Peace out and goodbye.